Hello and welcome everybody, it's KB here. So Google is making its AI editing tools free for everyone. These features were exclusive to Pixel phones or you had to get a Google One subscription. But now all the AI editing tools are going to be free for all Google Photo users. This is going to start from May 2024 and these uh, features includes magic eraser, photo unblur, portrait light and more. And guess what? Some of these features are actually already available and you can use it for free without any subscription. And these features are actually insane. Take this for example, photo unblur. If you have a picture that is blurred somehow, for some reason, you can unblur it, fix it. And there is this magic editor and you can see the example here. It's pretty cool. All the AI editing tools in Google Photos are actually insane. Now, let me show you guys some of these features in action even though all these features are not out yet but for some reason some of these features are actually appearing on the Google Photos app uh, without any subscription. So let's open the Photos app and let's uh, open this picture and let's click on edit. Once you click on edit it will open the image editor here you can do all the you know things dynamic enhance and if you go to the tools section here where uh, all the AI editing tools will appear. So you can see Portrait Blur is here even though I'm not subscribed to the Google One and uh, yeah, even though this is not a portrait picture, you can see uh, how this is working. I can move it around, you know, and there is the depth blur and there is this magic eraser also available for me for free. I can click on it and it will find the suggestions or highlight okay <laughs> there is one thing for some reason even though i have uh, some of these features available uh, i can't use magic eraser and there is the magic editor too uh, let me show you guys i'm gonna go click on edit again so every time i try to you know use magic eraser or uh, magic editing tool it doesn't work uh, it crashes probably because it isn't available yet but somehow it's appearing on my phone okay so you can see there is this icon here which glows this is the magic edi editor and you can do many things with it you you saw the example but for some reason uh, it crashes the app now let me give you guys another example i have this uh, uh, emulator running and uh, let's say this is a, another phone and I have the Google Photos app in it and I'm gonna select one of these pictures let's say this one and I'm gonna click on edit now I'm gonna go into tools and here you can see I have more features actually blur magic eraser and sky sky one is actually working you saw in my phone i don't have that feature but here i have that feature so i don't know for some reason for different phones you know there are different features available so i can change the sky color actually let's uh, take another uh, picture as an example i'm gonna go into this picture edit and i'm gonna go to tools sky and here you can see how drastically it changes the sky. So I'm changing the vivid of this. Let's change the luminous. You can see radiant, amber. You can see this is, this is pretty cool. <laughs> this feature isn't available in my phone, but it is available in the emulator. Or let's take this as an example, another phone. And there is the magic eraser. Uh, for some reason, it's not working. I can't click, but it doesn't crash the Google Photos app. Now, there is the blur. And blur doesn't work in this phone or emulator but blur works in my phone so it's all confusing for some reason and i think you can use these features on uh, desktop too uh, uh, using web browser you have to go to the photos.google.com and uh, let's do some editing okay we have the enhance option dynamic okay so this is a feature that requires a google one subscription but in my phone it's completely free okay <laughs> so
So yeah, you can see dynamic is completely free for me. <laughs> I don't think there is a tool section or tool option in Google Photos web app. Uh, yeah, there is, I don't see it. <laughs> so maybe it will be available after all the AI tools gets free. I don't know, not too sure. But all the AI editing tools will be available for Google Photos app on Android, iOS. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. So you should download the Google Photos app. It's actually pretty cool to edit your photos. It has many AI editing tools. Plus all the editing tools are getting free and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you think about this download the google photos app from the play store or app store and then see uh, which of these ai features are already available for you and then comment down below are they working or not and all that you know so that's it hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye